Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. In this video, we will discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 316. It's an easy level problem. The problem name is determine if two events have a conflict. So the problem statement says that you are given two arrays of string that represent two inclusive events that happened on the same day, event one and event two. Right. Uh, and obviously it says how they are represent, uh, represented. So event one and event two are basically an array having two elements each. Now, even times are valid 24 hours format in the form of RR colon million, uh, minute minute, right? A uh, conflict happens when two events have the say have some non empty intersection, that is, some moment is common to both the events. So, return true if there is a conflict between two events, otherwise, return false. Uh, so, yeah, pretty easy one, I would say. Uh, let's see what it tries to say and how we can approach this problem, right? Uh, to be very honest, I thought there will be some boundary cases in this one, but. Uh, uh, and and that can be seen as well right if you if you go to the accuracy part just a second if you go to the accuracy part then just see total submissions are uh, 18 and a half thousand but total accepted ones are just um, eight and a half thousand so the I'll, I'll tell you the boundary test case as well right so uh, the problem statement says you are given certain events I'll, I'll pick up the first example so event one is basically an array which has zero one 15 and 0 to this then right and event 2 is again in start and end time this and then this so what this problem is saying event 1 started at this time and ended at this time and event 2 started at this time and ended at this time now is there any moment which is being intersection uh, which which is uh, intersecting in both of these events so yes we can see the time two o'clock is is being uh, is acting as a common point between them right so we return true in this case right simple stuff let me take another example it says that event one is basically zero one zero zero this is the starting time this is the ending time for the first event what about the second event so the second event basically starts at 120 and uh, ends at 3 o'clock right now is there any point which is being intersected so you just see this 120 obviously lies between 1 and 2 right so that means in this case also i'll return true that okay this is being intersected right now let me take an, a negative example as well so even 3 sorry i mean example 3 so this is basically you have some time 10 starting time is this ending time is this now for even two starting time is 14 and ending time is 15 right now just see here obviously these two do not intersect why because this is the even one starts at 10 ends at 11 even two starts at 2 o'clock or 14 and ends at 3 so obviously these two are not intersect intersecting so you just return false okay now I will tell you the uh, tricky case first. So the tricky case here is in the question it is not mentioned that this event this event will always occur before the second event right. So what can happen the examples are also given such that even one one is always starting before event two right. The, the examples are also given in this way. But actually the question does not mention that. So there could be a possibility that this event even two starts before event one. And that is the thing that people are missing. Otherwise, it's an easy problem, right? So, uh, let me show you what I did, basically. So, my basic approach was, you pick this time. You pick this time. Since since these are um, in 24-hour format, so you convert this whole time into 24-hour format, right? How you will do that? How you will do that? So, you, you pick this time. First, let's consider the start time of the first event. We'll do this for all the four times, okay? So, this is the start time. Now, what do you do? it is 10 this 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 is r this is minute right so what you do you calculate what is r what is minute obviously in integer and then you calculate what is the starting time so what is the starting time that will be whatever r you got into 60 plus whatever minute you got right that means i am converting everything into minute this r is also being converted into minute and that to in 24 hour format because uh, this this generally is an easy way to tackle such conditions because you are converting everything into the same format otherwise what will happen first you will have to deal with strings 
and then you'll have to uh, see that okay if it's 12 o'clock then what i do am pm a number of a bunch of things will arise like for example it's 11 right however this is 14 right so that's why converting into that uh, is relatively easy or i would say i basically prefer that method you can use any other method as well i'm just uh, giving you some intuition how to approach this problem okay so you calculate the start time you get a value in minutes you calculate the end time you again get something then you calculate this you calculate this so you have four values start one end one start two end two these are the four values that you get now the only thing that you have to check is if event one the end time of event one so if event one end time is before start time of event two right this says that even one started and ended before event two if this is true or or what could be other case the other case could be this event ended first so that means event two is less than start of one if any of these two conditions is true that means what we say return false we return false why because what happened in this case this case says that my event one ended before event two started and this case says that my event two ended before event one started so that means they, they do these two do not intersect so you return false or in other cases you return true right so i hope this was clear let me just show you the code uh, basic stuff i could have written a utility function as well but again as i was coding fast so i, I thought i'll just <laughs> follow this method so you can see on line number three four what i have done i have picked up the string i have converted uh, my string into minutes so on line number five nine thirteen and seventeen i got start one end one start two and end two right basic stuff whatever i have told you in the explanation now what do you do on line number 19 if event one ended before start of event two or event two ended before start of event one so you return false else you return two. now this was the tricky case uh, i think people would people generally uh, seeing the problem statement would have assumed that my event one is always starting before event two and that is why we we, we are getting uh, a very less accuracy in such an easy problem right so yeah i hope you learn something new from this video uh, also generally in the first problem just try to see those problems are easy but just try to see whether you are missing some cases or not so here we saw that we are missing one case and that is why it is giving wrong answer right so yeah i hope you learn something new from this video uh do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel if you find this channel useful also in case of any queries please do mention that into the comments i'll try to revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye